In this demo, we will demonstrate the new automation feature. Automation feature for the door jams, the door side lights, and our transom frames depending on selection. Meaning, when you're choosing your door framing, if you choose a door frame type of transom, it's, I'm going, to, it's going to automatically add the transom frame, remove the standard door frame jams, remove the side lights and update everything in the cloud accordingly. If you decide to go with a door that's a non-transom, kind of like what you're looking at here on the left and here on the right, you would choose a non-transom frame. It will automatically add six inches to each side light and it will throw your door jams right back on there. So let's see how this works. Go ahead and open up the project that I've created for us here. It's called the Door Jam Transom Automation Project. Demonstration on how door jams and transoms are automatically added and removed based on selection. Basically, a secretary could do it. Then we go ahead and open up the elevation I've got created for us. It's the Door Jam Transom Automation. Door Jam and Transom with automation makes creating entrance entrance extra simple and it sure does too because we're about to prove that so let's go ahead and add us a door in here we'll get us a single door and like always whenever we add a door that's simply a placeholder so we do have to configure the door we'll choose the only door we've got there so so here we go let's first choose a door framing system with no transom. So we'll do 451 with no transom. Okay? And in order for everything to sync, you have to choose a leaf. So we'll just randomly choose a leaf there. So at this point, we have a door that's a non transom frame with a side light on the left, a side light on the right, and the transom open above. So let's go ahead and turn this into a transom frame when we turn this into a transom frame all of your other bays are going to resize accordingly as well so let's go ahead and choose that 451 transom frame okay notice that now we have no side lights the extra jams have been removed and it is a true transom frame We'll just throw another leaf in there. You have to choose that leaf to finalize it. So now at this point, all of your bays are larger than what they were, and they are somewhat larger than they would be to begin with. But you've got this 36 inch door opening. So that goes to prove that this is a transom frame, just as you would expect. But we don't want that transom frame. Let's go ahead and add a non-transom frame back to this baby. So as I click on that, you'll notice that it's now a non-transom frame, and we'll choose our leaf. And once we've chosen our leaf, we now have side lights. We got one on the right, one on the left. We've got our door jams back. We can even go over here to this bay and choose bay one and widen it up a little bit so we can see how fancy and, and nice that looks and how easy that was done. And so basically what you've just witnessed is all of the hard work and the thinking has been taken uh, into consideration on the processing servers located at Loom Cloud at our processing center. So let's just go ahead and move that door and let's see what happens. So now that I've removed the door, the bay is still fixed. But what we do is go back to the bay. We choose our bay. And now what we want to do is float the bays to where they were all originally at the very beginning. So this has been a demonstration on how easy it is to manage transom frames and door jams with the automation feature at AlumCloud.com.